We're here at PAWS PAWS, which provides much needed spay, neuter and veterinary health services for the stray animals of Bangkok. Established in June of 2012, the Pet Animal Welfare Society of Bangkok has already performed in excess of 2,000 spay, neuter and general veterinary procedures, many of an urgent nature in its 30 months of operation, which has no doubt already started to have a positive impact on the stray cat population of Bangkok. A native Los Angelian, Amy Barron, the founder of PAWS, a veterinary nurse, was formerly a computer programmer in the States for 20 years in another life. She's traded all of that in for this super challenging role. So Amy, this is, uh, this is part of your daily routine. What, what are we doing here? I'm giving fluids. Mm -hmm. uh, this cat has some kidney problems, and so by, by giving fluids on a daily basis, administering them under her skin, uh, it helps flush out her, her bloodstream. Okay, okay. Amy states the reason so many cat owners fail to have their pets de-sexed is quite simply the cost factor. As of January 2015, PAWS are planning the introduction of a low-cost spay and neuter service. Where pet owners can do the responsible thing for around 600 baht. Considerably less than the current average cost, which is considerably less than the current average cost at your local vet. The ISFM, International Society of Feline Medicine, recommend all cats be sterilised before four months of age. Quite a contrasting opinion to that of most vets here in Thailand. Everyone who assists here at PAWS does so on a voluntary basis, including the vets. Dr. Pai was kind enough to avail me some of his time. Actually, there are many surgeons working at Paul. Okay. Um, uh, I am only one doc doctor mm -hmm. who most of the time uh, do all the medical treatment. Right. Well, sometimes I do sterilization, right. but mainly I taking care of the you know, medical stuff. Okay, so I mean, general practitioners, something like you, that. You treat each uh, cat as an individual patient, so whatever's necessary for that given cat. Yes, right. yes. Now this is Nam, the resident poor celebrity. Poor Num, having lost the use of his hind legs due to a severe beating, as you can see, makes light work of his disability and is now living a well-adjusted, relatively normal life and is one of Amy's personal favourites. Such celebrity status Num has achieved, he even hosts his very own kissing booth at K Village on Soy 26 for just 20 baht per smooch. All proceeds, of course, going towards continued operational costs. Whilst PAWS is making a tremendous difference, there is still much work to be done. It is an ongoing process which requires unrelenting and tireless dedication to the cause. When you see places such as Wat Suan Kiao in Nantaburi that exist, which has become a dumping ground for discarded animals, it becomes rather blatant that far greater education and dedication to the control of the domestic animal population here in Bangkok is imperative. Both the Soy Dog Foundation and Watchdog Thailand are currently assisting as much as they can to have animal cruelty laws changed. However, it is a long, arduous process. If you would like to assist PAWS in any way, please go to the Facebook page for all of the relevant information. PAWS headquarters is located at Sukhumvit Soy 93, right near the Soy Puang Mi 40 crossroads. you to a spacious salon, not for hair, but for nails. Getting a manicure these days is no longer a simple affair. Nail art is a creative way to decorate both fingernails and toenails. 
It is now on the menu at most beauty salons in Thailand and is considered a true fashion accessory. I'm here at the 20 Nail Studio, Thailand's number one nail salon, which is owned by the famous celebrity couple in Thailand. And they just opened their new flagship shop at Central Embassy, the newest luxury store in Bangkok. Let's visit the studio. Our mission was to take the nail salon from like the lower level and put it in a nice place where people can relax mm. and enjoy manicure, pedicure, mm. and enjoy ambiance. Um, Ma'am spent a lot of time in the nail salon when we were dating. Uh. And I was like, what are you doing in there for three or four hours? And decided to do some research mm. because I'm from LA. Right. And there were a lot of nail salons opening up. So they, this is just some of the newest designs mm -hmm. that come out. And we take pride in the lines being so precise, like precision, you know? Mm -hmm. So this is what you have is probably like a bridal. And this is just some like graphic designs. Mm -hmm. But some of the designs right now hit is a lot of people like to do their nails after movies. Throughout history, nail art was a fashion trend of the aristocracy. From 5000 BC to 3000 BC, Ancient Egyptian women used nail art to indicate social status and they decorated their nails using the juice of henna plants. Egyptian Queen Cleopatra loved to use gold paint while the beautiful Nefertiti used red. Ordinary women were not allowed to use the same color as the Queen. Even in ancient China, during the Ming Dynasty, nail liqueurs and varnishes were used by the upper classes. Luckily, these days you don't have to be a royalty to add some gloss to your fingers and toes. So all we do is nail services. There's a manicure, pedicure, mm. nail extensions, which is acrylic mm -hmm. or gel. Mm -hmm. And then we do artwork on nails like and artwork. Actually, this flag shop store is the first that I know of that we are using ozone water. Ozone, mm. like oxen oxidated water for hand mm. and feet. Ozone kills like 99% of bacteria, fungus, viruses. Recent years have witnessed a resurgence in nail painting and the colors and designs are often through works of art. The team at 20 Nail Studio says this source of treatment is not self-indulgent luxury. They believe hands and feet are an important form of self-expression, but at the same time, we can resist a little artistic pampering. You're watching Destination Thailand. Chart your course for all points and points for all Patty is most exciting. Patty is most index. Patty is most in point. Has most in new heights. In new heights. In towers 30 stories over the soul after hilltop. On cool after hill. If on cool after hill. Of Pratun after hill. World class after hill. World class after hill. World class after hill. The design class after hill. The own class after hill. Books the own class after hill. Books the own class after hill. Thinks the own class after hill. World of New York Club after hill. And this is your club after hill. This is your club after hill. This is the great journey of their lives begins here, a place where skills are developed and values are cherished, where friendships are forged and responsibility is encouraged, where challenges are faced and talent blooms. Give your children the best education. Regions International School, Bangkok, home of well-rounded leaders for the future. Luxury takes many forms. The Riviera Dom Tien captures the very best of today's lifestyle. Building on the success of Riviera Wongamat, Riviera Dom Tien will offer the ultimate in gracious living. 46 stories, stylish modern facilities, 
a family paradise just steps from the beach. Riviera Zhong Tien, a new journey begins. You're watching Destination Thailand. Resorting to golf? Then don't miss Tana City Golf and Sports Club located right here in Bangkok. Just 30 minutes from central Bangkok and only 15 minutes from Savanapum International Airport. I'm here with uh, Kun Pasakorn, who's the general manager of uh, Tana City Golf Club. What do you pride yourself with Tana City? Uh, Tana City have a good system of the tea time integrity and a uh, place of play within 4 hours and 26 minutes. One of the things I like about here is the condition of the golf course. We work very hard to keep our green condition as best as we can. Kun Mao, what's the balance of uh, customers? We have a lot of expat people play here every, every week and uh, most of them bought the uh, Tana City Cup card. So you community. have a loyalty card as well as membership uh, facilities available here? Yes, uh, we do. And uh, we do have a, a full facility for the golf course and the driving range and also the uh, sport club, uh, fitness and swimming pool. Okay, I can see also you have futsal and tennis courts. Yes, we do have a, a tennis court, badminton court and a futsal uh, open in July. That's very exciting because I think uh, most of us that uh, have been here in Thailand for a long time really love playing this golf course and we thank you very much for hosting the day. Thank you Phil. Tana City Golf and Sports Club is managed by Absolute Golf Services and it is the only golf course in Thailand designed by Aussie golf legend Greg Norman. From the tips it's a 6,966 yard par 72 challenge with fast greens, bunkers galore, and water exists on almost every hole. My guest today is Martin Hill, who's the founder and managing director of Executive Search Partners Asia. Martin, thanks very much for giving us time out today. Not a problem, Phil. It's a gorgeous course, and it's a pleasure to join you. The first hole is a 585 yard par five, and one of the longer par fives on the course. It may look like a generous fairway, but watch out for the bunkers on the left. Two good shots there, mate. Both hit the fairway. Let's see if we can go ahead and get our pass. Thanks very much. The second shot requires an accurate shot to avoid the bunkers on both sides and leaves a short chip over a well-protected green. Very nice. Once on the green, you'll be challenged by both the slope and the speed of these immaculate greens. Yeah, nice putt. Ooh. Goodbye, mate. Just before we hit off, tell us a bit about your company. Well, Phil, I came here for a year out in 2008. Uh, six years later, we're happily embedded in, in Bangkok. We work in the C-suite, the, uh, the chief officer level, predominantly, within industries uh, ranging from insurance through to manufacturing, FMCG. Uh, I've got a great team that's joined me in the Bangkok office and we're uh, really enjoying our work at the moment. That's fantastic, Martin. I wish you all the success with your business here in Thailand and around the region. And uh, let's go and play the third. The third hole is 174 yards from the Shark Tees. The danger oh, is point. the creek running diagonally across the front of the green. Nicely on. Take too much club to clear the creek and you will end up in the back bunker. Tana City Golf Course offers great variety on every hole and all golfers will have every aspect of their game challenged. Martin, your business you said started in March of this year. So how have the first four to five months uh, gone for your business? And where do you see its future? My desk has expanded regionally as well by making road trips out to Hong Kong and Singapore and Jakarta in the last few months. We're gearing ourselves up specifically for the ASEAN next year and uh, we're delighted with the progress we've made in such a relatively short period of time. The 13th at Tana is their signature hole. It's 148 yards from the Shark Tees to an island-like green with bunkers both left, right and back. Get in the hole. Got to be happy with that. Again, the green is tricky with a severe slope from back to front. Go for birdie. Turn. Straight out. Nice pop. After missing my birdie, it was my shout. I got to say the kiosks are amongst the best stocked of any course in Thailand. The staff and caddies are always friendly. Okay, Martin, it's our last hole. 
This is one of the great finishing holes of any golf course in Thailand. It's a great way of ruining a great round, this, <laughs> this 18th <laughs> hole. Tremendous uh, drive is required to give you a, still a difficult shot, in, shot into a, an island green. Let's see how we go. Best of luck. Okay, thanks. Lead us away. The 18th is a monster hole oh, yeah. at well over 440 yards. What's the attraction to get people to come to Thailand? It's a vibrant, bustling business centre. It ticks so many boxes, it's such a great place. It's on. Well, Martin, always a pleasure to have around with you. Always Best a of luck. Pleasure. Yep, always absolutely. Pleasure. Let's Thank end you. off with a couple of passes. Let's tidy up, shall we? Uh, excellent, well done. A day at Tana City Golf and Sports Club is great value for money, and the food is awesome. In the heart of Bangkok, there's a true piece of music history that jazz and blues lovers should not miss. Check-in is a long-time uh, member of the Bangkok nightlife uh, scene. It was originally opened in 1957 well, a long time ago, yeah. as the Copacabana Club, or the Copa, and uh, predated the Vietnam War period. Uh, it was very popular with the Peace Corps and the very few expats then in Bangkok in the late 50s. It enjoyed uh, quite a period of um, notoriety and if not um, patronage during the Vietnam War when the uh, USO tour entertainers used to come here as a bolt hole. They would be connected to the embassy people first establishing, setting up in, in Bangkok culture. Well, it's not so much the embassy, it was the USO tours. Bob Hope, Dean Martin. That's right, there was quite a few people. Rekha Welch was here, um, Bing Crosby. Was Rekha Welch actually here on this couch? Was well, this no, not, this, not necessarily this couch. This was a, this was a cellar with, full of water at the time. And uh, no, that was the favourite bolt hole because uh, it was away from the R&R &R areas and no one followed them. The perhaps, perhaps he didn't. So it was quite a private... It was, it was a private bolt hole, yeah. and, uh, in, uh, and the, uh, we've had employees from that time, from 1960, used to host them, still work here. Mama Noy is very famous on that. Hi, I'm here with William White from the William White Quartet here at Check-In 99. Hi, William. Hi. Good to see you. Thanks for being on the show. So, um, William, what brought you to Thailand um, originally? Why, why, why Thailand? Why Cork particularly? Mm. Well, I initially came uh, with a Buddhist monk and uh, I spent uh, some time touring the monasteries and doing meditation. And uh, I liked it and I stayed. Yeah, well, well, how long ago was that? 20 years. 20 years ago? Yeah. Wow. A lot of bars and restaurants go out of business here every 15 months and two, days, two years that come and go, but Checking 99 has outlasted just about everybody. It, so. it, it is the oldest nightclub and bar continuously operating in Bangkok. Yeah, yeah. And we know you have a, have a very strong music policy here, don't you? We uh, have created a renaissance uh, in Check-In. We now offer over 60 hours of live music a week. <laughs> You're watching Destination Thailand. Luxury takes many forms. The Riviera Jom Tien captures the very best of today's lifestyle. Building on the success of Riviera Wongamat, Riviera Jom Tien will offer the ultimate in gracious living. 46 stories, stylish modern facilities, a family paradise just steps from the beach. Riviera Jom Tien, a new journey begins.
Nigel Kornick is one of the most experienced developers in Thailand. Stephen O'Dell from Soda is an award-winning architect. Colin Okashimo is Asia's modern landscape Zen master. This is the team behind Padia's exciting new project, South Point. Developed by Kingdom Property, South Point is financed by Kung Thai Bank and has full EIA approval. Invest with the best and don't miss the point. You're watching Destination Thailand. Hi, I'm Dylan Jones. And I'm Bo Song Isawat. Join us as we travel to Thailand. And we share our food secrets and how to cook Thai food. So we're here at Otago Market. It's one of the best produce markets in the whole of Bangkok. And it's right in the city. And we're looking at some seafood. This is about making Thai food at home with understanding. And it will be delicious. What we're going to do right now is one of my favourite dishes actually. And it's really good when you have a lot of spicy food on the table. It's perfect to balance out that heat and it's deep fried fish with red turmeric and lots of garlic and shallots. Plat hot kamin. Thai lao and what fish are you going to use today? So we're using an ocean fish today, we're using sole. But if you want to use any other sort of ocean fish that works well with deep frying, it's also fine. Okay, so just Thai garlic with the skin on. You want the skin on because it gives that nuttiness, especially when it's deep fried. And this one, you want the paste to be quite, uh, quite coarse. Um, because when you deep fry it, if it's too fine, it's just going to burn really quickly and become quite bitter. Now we're going to put in about five or six shallots, Thai shallots, whole, and just once again pound them up so they're nice and coarse. Okay, and then the start of the show, which is the fresh red turmeric. I would not recommend using the powdered stuff because it's not going to work the same and doesn't have the same fragrance. And you don't need that much? No, one finger is more than enough. One finger? One finger. Okay, my paste is ready. Going to marinate your in. So I'll just use maybe half the paste and even a third of the paste. A little bit of fish sauce. Fish sauce. A touch of white pepper. And sugar. So that is get caramelized and you've got nice golden fish. Absolutely. Okay, and then the flour over here, I'm just going to add a little bit of salt and a little bit of white pepper. So just seasoning the flour before we deep fry. Can you test whether the oil is hot? Yeah, I think we're ready. I just flour the fish. It's a light coating really, isn't it? Yeah. So you just want to pat all the excess flour out. I probably recommend finish coating it all of it. Before deep frying? Before deep frying. And into the hot oil. So this is a great dish, it's actually quite southern and the red turmeric indicates that it's quite southern also the use of seafood. The south they use a lot of red turmeric and a lot of seafood. So you just want to keep frying it until it's nice golden brown. Okay, so bro, that looks pretty good, yeah? Yeah. So I'll get the rest of our paste that we have over here. Okay, and then... Once the turmeric goes in, it's actually quite a quick process. Once that's golden brown, then we're going to take it out onto a either absorbent paper or some sort of colander to drain the oil. Into the absorbent paper. So you've got nice crispy shallot and garlic. Let's plate up. Perfect. Nice crispy fish. Cooking's about making a mess. Okay, we have the deep fried fish with turmeric, garlic and shallots. Visit us on Facebook and tell us what you like. Or check out our website at www.destinationthailand.tv Our presenters have their hair cut coloured and styled at Moga Salons, now available at eight locations in Thailand. Our presenters use Philip B's organic skin and hair products, available now at the Emporium, Bangkok.
This program was brought to you by South Point Patia.